Hello guys, Frankie here. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial requested by Half a Semiton. Uh, thank you very much for your request. Uh, it's gonna be addressing uh, warping acapellas a little bit more in depth. And the acapella I have today, I've taken it from a Beatport Play Remix Contest. It's uh, from this duo called, I think it's a duo called uh, Tomorrow's World and the song is called Drive. Very nice vocal. The first thing we gotta do, obviously, is detect the BPM, and for that I have the first method, which is the cheating way. Uh, simply you go on the Beatport uh, website and you just see what the BPM is, in this case it's 139. Uh, unfortunately though, that doesn't always work, because maybe you don't have uh, access to Beatport or whatever, maybe the track is not there. Or maybe simply like this one, um, you don't have really a steady tempo for the, the entire track because if you just click uh, 139, it's you know it's fine at the beginning, but then it kind of goes off the you know further on in the song. So the the first thing you can do is use the beat uh, calculator on um, you know it's built in Incubase. So you open this this window and uh, see you have a uh, a dial where it says to use the, the space bar to give the input for the tempo. So what you do, even if you cannot hear it, I'm pressing the space bar now. And as you can see, uh, I'm trying to guess the tempo. And that's uh, pretty pretty cool because it's very, it's decently accurate and see, so you know, as you can see, I've got to 138 something. Uh, I'm gonna guesstimate it's 139 because no one would record a song at 138.9, shit like that. See, and as you can see, it works. But here, see, it goes fucking off, and I don't know how they recorded this shit. The problem is that it goes off even though the tempo is 139. So it's fine in the beginning, but then it goes off over, the, over there, it's not completely locked. So here comes the method number three, which is the manual adjustment. Uh, basically, so now you have a general um, tempo for the whole track is 139, and you know it's that. But what you do is go where it starts being off and fix it. Here, see? Voila. It's very subtle, and this track has a very kind of rushed feel to it when you, you don't want to get rid of that because that's part of the track. Especially here where the chorus comes in. Now it's fine. Because I moved it earlier on. So pretty cool. So see, you're kind of combining different um, tricks. I see, as you can see now, it's fine. Pretty cool. By the way, yesterday was uh, 420, so happy 420. I don't know if you have a semiton smoke weed, but if you do, happy 420 for you. Uh, okay, now we're gonna see the method number four, which is the amazing quote, uh, Cubase Tempo like Detector. Because actually Cubase does come with a tempo detector um, that, you know, it's like a machine uh, that supposedly is able to detect the tempo of an acapella. And, uh, you know, sometimes you have decent results, sometimes, like in my case, you have very crappy results. So, you see, you just open the thing and click on Analyze, and it's taking a while, and... Uh, yeah, sometimes you get, but I don't know, I, for me this doesn't really work because you don't really have that much uh, control over what's going on and uh, just most of the time it doesn't work because it's a freaking machine and this is human vocals so it's much better than a human does the job. See, here it says, uh, I don't even know. Okay, so yeah, of course, multiple tempos were, the, were detected. Fucking great. And it sucks. Fuck is this? See, it's shit. What the fuck, man? Uh, okay, so I show you how to adapt the acapella to any tempo. So now we go back to what we had before, which is a, which was a very decent result, and you 
just select the, the file and do uh, set tempo for the track and what basically what this does is once you detected the tempo which is 139 and fixed all the the minor uh, problems with the, the the free warping now you basically lock the tempo to 139 and it's it's locked to the it's synced to the tempo in Cubase. I don't know how to how to say it, but basically now if you change the tempo of the track, uh, the vocals will change with it. And to know that you have done it correctly, you have to go and see if you have this Elastic Pro Time uh, that says basically if you move the the track tempo, uh, the cappella will move with it. And now see, so you speed it up like a mofo and it stills in tempo. Now slow it down. See the quality of the recording obviously kinda uh, goes a bit ape shit, but you wouldn't do a 40 BPM change in a track because obviously you fuck it up. So you know if you stay in a realm that's doable, like I don't know, 20 maximum 30 BPM change, and it's fine. There you go. See that's perfectly fine. And this is almost 40 BPM um, slower than, than the original. Okay, so thanks uh, guys for watching. Thank you very much. Um, please check out my remix I did for the competition. And if you do want yourself, please uh, let me have it. Post it here in the comments on YouTube because I want to see what you guys came up with. Uh, thank you.